Welcome to Bitfumes. This is Laravel 7 for beginners. I am your host Sarthak and now we will going to create the views for our to-do list. Okay, so for that first we need to go to the web.php file and inside that at the top so that I can see clearly and we should remove this facade we don't need it now I will say route and this should be a get route so get route and this will be a have to do's and then we can define function and then simply return a view called to do's dot index and why to do's dot index because I'm going to create a directory called to do's and then inside that I will create index.blade.php so let's see what Laravel says if we don't have this to do's index so the server is running I will go here and go to slash to do's and now it says view to do dot index not found and see the error is very very descriptive it says to do dot index views is not available so let's create that so I will go here on the resources views I will firstly create a directory called to do's and inside this I will create a file called index dot blade dot php cool and that should be index okay so now I will simply say hello <laughs> okay now go on the browser refresh this page and yes we can see we have this hello so instead of hello I can say all to do's so that it will be descriptive similarly I can create another route to get actually to create new to do so to do slash create and it will be having to do's dot create blade file so now I can create a new file inside here so I can just copy paste it and this should be create and I can say here create new to do wow as we add more get request for to do's views this route file file will become very big so first thing what we can do we can move these returning of views inside the controller so that's why we have created the to-do controller in this to-do controller let's create a function called index and then I can simply return views to do's dot index and then here I can say uh, to do's no to do controller at index and similarly I can do here to do controller at create this means at means which function we are going to call so for create we need to call a function called create function and this will return to do dot create yeah now let's just verify these two routes so if I refresh it says all to do's if I go slash create yeah it says create new to do so quickly let's create another route for edit so this will be edit and I can say edit and then I can say uh, yeah these three are enough so let's create another blade file for edit so I can say here edit to do list yeah this is done okay so one more comes here and this should be edit and edit it's very easy we have created three routes three functions three blade file and everything is working absolutely fine cool so now what we need to have in this create part first thing I need to create a form so that I can submit data now so what we need here we need a simple HTML tag and then I can title it with to do to do's and then create a simple form so form and now I have completed a form with a simple heading which says what next you need to do and then we have a simple form with the action of slash to do slash create and method is post 
CSRF token included with a single input of title name and a submit button. Okay, so this is looking very, very ugly. So that's why I have included the Tailwind CSS CDN. So here we have the Tailwind CSS CDN. If we do this, yeah, it's now something looking good. But let's make it very nice. So I can say here like uh, text center. Let's see. So this will be at the center. And then I can say padding top is 10 so we have a top padding and then on this i can say class of text uh, let's say 2xl so it should be bigger then in the form we have this padding y of let's say 5 and then we need to have some border so let's see yeah this is good but this should be at the center so i think we don't have to give the border it's looking very bad now on this input i can say padding y of 2 and padding x of let's say 2 and y 3 and then i can give a border and now let's see how it's going to look yeah it's good but i think this should be 2 also yeah okay that's good and then finally the button so button will be as like padding y of let's say padding all two and giving a border and some rounded LG like this and yeah it is good good to see these kind of things and let's say rounded here also yeah that's rounded and cool that's very nice so if we say uh, laravel 7 if i say this and if i hit create button it will submit form to our slash to do slash create but you can see we don't have post method of slash to do slash create yeah that's the problem so i need to create a method called post on that we can we can say to do's that should be to do's slash create and this will go to to do controller at um at, at at store okay so you have seen that these two routes are exactly similar but because these having a different method they can be treated as differently so we need to create a function on our to do controller which is like store store and we know we need to grab the request because we are coming from the beginning of this course so everything is clear now so request all and then i can simply submit this form so let's submit it and now it says 404 so maybe if I do level 7 once again create yeah so we have this title as level 7 spelling of level is different that's good okay so this is done and in the next episode we will going to store this to do title in the to do's table and then we will see what are the challenges we need to face and what next big thing we are going to learn in this Laravel series. So I hope you like this episode. Please give it a thumbs up and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. We will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.